Toby Rowan Jones, congratulations, Brooks McDonald Player of the Month for May. 13 list day wickets, five first class wickets. It's been quite a month for you. Yeah, it was you know a bit of an up and down month with the with the one day games. Felt like the, the squad started really nicely uh, and just tailed off at the end, which was a bit of a shame. But like you said, from a personal point of view, always always nice to be taking wickets and and yeah, trying to find ways of contributing to the team. Absolutely. Within those 13 list day wickets, there was one spell down at the Aegeus Bowl where you picked up four for ten in seven just quite magnificent overs. Uh, is that as good a white ball spell as you've ever bowled? Um, yeah, I'd probably say it's, it's, it's right up there. Yeah, it's, it's particularly pleasing, you know, in games like that where the, the batsman's set up a, you know, a really, really strong total for us and, and to contribute on the other side of it. And, and yeah, sort of keep them down and that, that sort of set us rolling a little bit. That was our first win on the board. So, no, it was nice, really pleasing. Obviously, you know, on TV games and, and things like that, it's always nice to, to feel like you're producing your best. So, yeah, I was, I was obviously delighted with that. Well, you've certainly got the hang of performing in front of the cameras. I'm sure nobody will ever forget that performance here at Lords against Yorkshire in the last game of the season. What's life been like for you since that point and, and being a county champion? Yeah, it's obviously yeah changed things a little bit. It's it's been nice to reflect on it over a sort of you know nice winter away, and like you said, to to carry around that sort of feeling of you know having having won the county championship before was was you know a real real satisfying feeling. I think you know probably for for a lot of us now it, it's now trying to sort of really focus on you know makes you want to do it all again. So so yeah, certainly that that's that's the feeling around the place this year is I think you know guys are arguably even hungrier now to try and reproduce that success. Brilliant. Uh, you mentioned your winter. Uh, you obviously got called up to the Lions. You finished last season as our leading wicket taker in all three formats of the game. Uh, what was the experience like joining up with the Lions to play over in the UAE and against Sri Lanka? Eh? Yeah, I had, a, I had a great time. Really enjoyed it. I think, uh, particularly the, the playing leg uh, in Sri Lanka. I think it was really good to to test yourself in those conditions uh, and to sort of try and take some of the momentum, I guess, from the season and, and yeah, try and try and show that you can produce in the various conditions. You know, around the world, it's, it can be tough out there for seamers. Uh, so yeah, and I suppose as someone who you know was a little bit older in that group to try and sort of you know. Be a bit of a senior figure, and, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed that, and, and yeah, the tour went well, uh, and played some good cricket, so couldn't have gone better really. Good. Well, going from enjoying that seniority to being the newbie, uh, you made your full England debut here last week at Lords. Uh, quite a surreal game with England twenty for six in the fifth over. Uh, that must have been an amazing experience for you. Yeah, I, th I think surreal is a pretty good word for it, to be honest. Yeah, sort of sitting in the change room at twenty for six, uh, next in. It almost was, yeah. It, it almost released a bit of pressure for me. I think the scenario just meant that I had nothing to lose uh, with the bat, which, which you know sort of released a bit of tension. Um, but like you said, it's obviously a dream come true uh, to, you know, taking the field in an England shirt, and certainly something that you know makes you want to do it more. I certainly hope it's not the last time I, I, I sort of get to feel like that. So enjoyed it, and for, and for it to be here, I guess at Lords was, was all the more special. So. Yeah, it was, it was a really special day and, and one to savour with the family for sure. Any stern words for Finney when he chipped that one up to short mid-wicket when you were looked, uh, looked nailed on for a 50? Yeah, F Finney costing me another 50 there. Um, no, not really, to be honest. Uh, I think he sort of, yeah, he had a few choice words for himself, I think. But no, I mean, it was actually, you know, really nice to, to have the field, sort of, you know, take the field with Stephen. Uh, he helped me through the day immensely, sort of, you know, any, any sort of, times where you needed someone there just to try and release the pressure. Um, so yeah, for me to sort of share my debut with, with him alongside me and with Morgie as captain, I think, yeah, it sort of almost added to the experience. Magnificent stuff. Toby, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on being the Brooks McDonald Player of the Month for me. Thank you.